What's going on, everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com, and today we're going to talk about how to attack zone coverages in NCAA Football 06, specifically from a drop back perspective. In the previous video, we covered all the various basic man routes, the goes, the outs, the ends, the digs, the comebacks, the curls, things of that nature. And if you remember, it didn't really matter where we were on the field. I could be in the middle of the field and still hit a curl. I could be on the left hash, right hash. It didn't matter where that curl was. I could probably hit that one pretty easily. Well, zone routes are very different. They are very specific in terms of where you're at on the field and how successful you can make those throws. So we're going to cover all of that. Now, we're going to cover four main concepts. The first thing we're going to talk about is the short side zone beater. This is the most common of the bunch where you, while we're here on the left hash, you want to attack the short side or the boundary side of the field about 10 yards in. Then we're also going to talk about the center beater. Pretty much any route that's over the middle, if there's a gaping hole, we're going to talk about how to attack that. We're also going to talk about backside post and slot post. So you remember the common post routes. We got a backside post as well, things of that nature. And we're going to talk about rolling out against cover two. Those are the four main ways to attack zone coverage from a drop back perspective. Okay, now before we actually start getting into the short boundary stuff, let's talk about the six main areas of the field. Here we are on the left hash. I think there are six areas of the field when attacking zone. You got the short left side. In this case, we're on the left hash about 10 yards in. Then you got the middle of the field, which is going to be a bugger center, more or less, right here. And then you got the other side, about 10 yards in. This is the right side. Then you got your back three areas. You got the back side over here on the right side, the top middle, and the top left. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Hopefully by the end of the video, we're going to tag all of those areas, and it's just going to amaze you about some of the cool ways you can attack them all, depending on where you're located and what you're calling. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about the short side zone beater. Let's go ahead and select a normal practice type. And let's talk about a lot of left hash stuff. Because once you understand the left hash, it's the exact same concepts on the right hash. Let's go ahead and select the wide receiver curls. We're going to talk about the flat route. The combo of the curl flat is about the most common combo in the game in terms of route structure. And the flat route is just very simple. It, it is your zone beater. The only reason why this works is because the curl route is above it. So let's talk about that. Let's go and select wide receiver curls. Let's go up against nickel cover two zone, for example. Okay, we're on the left hash. Just think about the flat route. We're going to throw to him as hard as we can as soon as he makes his stop like that. And we're going to pick up a yard or two. Okay, he will always be there. You may not get a ton of yards. You may get quite a bit. You just never know. Uh, I'm noticing that curl round is getting a little stuck on that corner or something like this. Here's what we really wanted to see without him getting stuck. But here's the big thing. This is the reason why he gets open right here. Notice that corner always backs up to the curl. The way NCAA 06 works when it comes to zone is if a corner or a defender has two routes to defend, he will naturally defend the high route which leaves this guy open all the time. You have to keep that in mind. It also matters that we are on the left hash. For example, if we came over here, what will happen if we go to that flat route? This is what happens. Nothing. You come over here, put it on him. Now look at the situation. This corner has no high route to defend. The curl is all the way over here. So if he has nobody to defend, he's obviously just going to defend the flat route, which means this guy isn't open. That's why you need that flat route and the curl flat combo to the short side of the field. So when I'm selecting a play and I see wide receiver curls, this is a left hash play to me for that curl flat combo alone. Okay, so let's go up against a cover three this time. This flat route, again, the short side boundary side stuff is works against cover two, three, and four. Go over here. We'll do something like this. I'm going to pick up a solid five to six yards. Notice what happens here, though. That linebacker is backing up just a little bit. And who's he defending? The high route. Right here. Look how much space he has compared to the curl route. Okay. By the time you throw it, hopefully you can get a better throw than that. And you can cut up field, do some better things like that. But that's the most important thing you need to know about attacking zone. 
majority of the pass plays in this game that I use has a short side zone beater like this. See if I can make a play or two. Looks like I can. We'll do it one more time. This is just a safety valve route. It just gives you something to have just in case nothing gets open against zone. Let's go ahead and select another route or combo, if you will. Let's go to gun trips and let's go halfback streak. This is a drag route. We're going to stay on the left hash. Look what is above it. Another high read. That corner needs to defend that comeback route, which will leave this drag open. For the most part, we'll say this will work. Let's go up against a cover three, for example. We'll snap it. We're going to hold down the button on this one. Good play by that defender, but guess what? He was right there, and you can pick up several yards from it. Let's go up against a cover two, for example. Let's pick the same play. Let's see if this will work. Hopefully that corner doesn't get stuck on the receiver. It looks like he does. Something like that. This is a good example right here. We're going to pick up a good yard. And that's just because that comeback route distracted the corner. Let's put him on a go this time. Will that help him out a little bit? No, he got stuck again. That's what I, I promise you that doesn't happen in the game hardly at all. But we can give him a curl rat at least. Maybe that'll open him up a little bit. No, he got stuck again. Of course he did. Only in this video that he'll get stuck on it. We can do another go. Will he get stuck on it? Something like this will be a little bit better. There we go. Kind of want to see something like that. Either way, look for that high-low read. Let's pick another one. Let's go gun normal. We'll stay on the left hash. Tight end dig. Guess what? Another high-low combo. The corner or the linebacker, whoever is over here, is going to cover the high read a lot more than he will cover the low read. Technically, he'll always cover the high read. So let's go ahead and select tight end dig. We'll go up against a cover two. Remember what we do with zig routes from the previous video? Hold down the button and just get up the field. Look how wide open he got. Only reason why he got wide open, if I put my cursor on him, is that corner... What's he doing? He is defending the high rate. He's scared to death that guy getting open. That's probably a smart decision. Otherwise, I'd be throwing the him. But this guy gets wide open because of it. Boom. Easiest yards ever. Okay. Let's pick another one. Let's go with a swing route. Let's get the halfback involved. Let's go gun spread. And let's go with deep attack. Okay. You see right here we have a swing route. We want this to go to the short side of the field. Since this halfback is going to the right, what does that mean? We need to play this on the right hash. So let's go ahead and slate deep attack. Let's go up against a cover two. That's fine. We'll come over here, and let's go to that swing. As soon as he makes his cut up the field, that's when you can throw it like this. And look at all this yardage he's got. Boom, just wide open. And the only reason why he's wide open is you guessed it. Look at all these high routes distracting these three up here. Look at all this space. Just dump it to him and get your easy yardage. It works even better against cover three, by the way. Just something to think about. Then the last one I want to talk about, and there are plenty of other ones, uh, but we're going to talk about the screens. Let's go with a gun trips. Let's go with this half bed, this double screens. I know this is an updated play, but the concept is still the same. Put your screen on the short side of the field. So if you got your half back going over here, we want this to be a left hash play. So let's go ahead and select double screens. We'll go up against uh, cover three. We'll come over here. And with, when it comes to screens, you need to keep backing up. And then you just need to dump it off to him. Something like this. But I promise you it works a whole lot better if he has this situation. He's got... These guys just back up more the closer they are to the boundary side. If we came over here and tried to do the same thing, it's just not going to work as well. Now watch me get a touchdown here. <laughs> we'll come over here. That's what we don't want to see. As soon as he catches the ball, what happens? This guy has nobody to defend other than just stay low. And if he's going to stay low, he's going to destroy this halfback. That's why you want these screens to the short side of the field. As such, do something like this. Just bounce it to him and pick up some good yardage. Okay, let's go to a wide receiver screen. Let's go over to Gun H Twins. Let's go with Tunnel Screen. Same principle, short side of the field. Since he is on the left side, let's play him on the left hash. We'll go up against a cover two zone. That's fine. Wide receiver screens, I tend to throw them as quickly as possible. Something like this. He just got to make the catch. Just look how wide open he was. Jeez. Let's see if we can make this play better. There we go. That's what I want to see. So the reason why he gets open is because... You get this right here. They tend to curl in a little bit more this way, and you can go out. If the throw is good enough, he will catch it and run up the field as such. 
you can get some serious gains with it. If we've done this on the right hash, will he get open against zone? Let's try it. Nope. We can try it again. Nope. The guy's just standing right there. But if you have it on the short side of the field, he has a better chance of getting open against zone. It just need, doesn't need to get stuck like that. We can try it one more time. Again, just focus on the short side, and hopefully your quarterback makes a better throw than that. Right there. Okay? So, what I suggest you do, since this is the most common way to decide which play you're going to select off either hash, look at every one of these pass plays. Just go open up a playbook. Go to, pick a formation, and let's look at a few things. For example, linebacker attack. What am I seeing? I'm seeing a swing route. That looks like a flat combo to me, a curl flat. There's a curl and a flat, but it's technically a swing. doesn't matter. It's a swing with a high-low combo, right hash. Then we got, let's pick a drop back, another one. Let's go with cross post. What am I seeing here? I'm seeing a drag route underneath with a comeback route. That is a high-low. This is a left hash play to me because we got our short side zone beater. That's always a good safety valve. What about flank or cross? This one is either or. This is an updated play of mine that works off either hash. I got a little flat route by the halfback with a couple of high routes above it. This guy's going to get open. You may not get a ton of yards, but at least you know he will be there. You can also play this on the right hash because of this flat route. Okay, let's go to uh, gun spread. Let's pick some other ones. Let's go. Here's another flat route. That tells me that probably worked better on the right hash, but this is also a flat route as well. That works on the left hash. We can keep going. Slot seams. This is another unique halfback route. Look, it's just more high-low stuff. We got some help under uh, above him. Let's go and select that. This is a right hash play. We'll just select cover three. Again, it doesn't really matter which zone coverage you're going up against. We'll go right here. We'll just throw it to him. That's just good defensive play. Let's try that up one more time. Do something like this. That's a little bit better. Going to pick up an easy, you know, several yards right there. And the only reason why he was open... We got a couple of high routes above distracting this guy and that guy. And if you time it just right, you can get around that corner and do some serious damage. So again, just go through some of these formations and look at some of these plays and see what's available to you. Angle. What hash is that going to work best on? To me, that is a right hash play because I got a little zone beater under here, a little short side zone beater with a couple of high routes above it. I know he's always going to be open against zone. He may not get a ton of yardage. He may get a bunch. You just don't know. You can do something like this. I wish he wouldn't get stuck on that. Let's try that again. Do something like he got... There we go. That's something a little bit better like that. You can wait a little bit longer to let those higher reps develop. Something like this. And you can pick up an easy five yards. Okay, so hopefully you understand the short side zone beater concept. That's where it all starts, against zone in this game. The next thing we're going to talk about is the center beater. What I mean by this is we want a play that has a route that attacks above the center. That's why I call it the center beater. If there is a gaping hole right here, this is always your first read. I didn't select this first because we got to talk about the short side field boundary concept first. That's the most important because most of these plays have not a lot of plays have the center beater. I created a bunch of these just because it's just nice to have. But this is a gaping hole above the center. Go to him. So let's go ahead and select that. Normally this works really good against like cover four. We'll go ahead and select that. There are some cover threes that blitz differently that may work. But let's go ahead and go to this guy. Let's see what happens here. As soon as I snap the ball, I'm looking above my center. What do you see right here? A gaping hole. Do we have a center beater? Yes, we do. We got a little angle route. I'm just going to toss it over the lineman's head. I'm doing a basic press of the button right here. And boom, we're going to pick up easy three to four yards. We can do it again. Gaping hole. Just go to him. We're going to pick up a really good game there. Okay. That's a very simple one. We can look at some other ones. Uh, for example, we have quick slants. This is a left hash play because of the flat route. It's got a high low or a high read above it giving him an open space, but this play also has a center beater with the slant route. So let's go ahead and select that. We'll go up against a cover four. Left hash, because again, of that flat route. First read, just stare above your center. Is there a hole? Yes, there is. Boom. 
I'm going to pick up easy yardage. If there is not a hole there, just go to your handy dandy short side zone beater and get whatever yards you can. Okay, but I'm seeing a hole above the center. We'll go to him and we'll pick up whatever yards. So that is your center beater. Very simple, but not a lot of plays have them, especially if you are using the default plays. For example, we have deep attack. Technically, there isn't a center beater, so you just ignore it. Halfback screen, there isn't a center beater there. There is one with the Y corner. You see that slant route right there. Slot wheels, there isn't one. But at least you, if you have just any type of route going over the middle, that could be a good center beater for you if there is a hole there. The next thing we're going to talk about is uh, the post route from the slot and from the outside. Now, just like it was against man, these work really well against them, just depending on the situation. They work even better against zone. The post routes are usually the best way to attack the deep zone field without play action, So, which again, we'll talk about in a later video. Let's go ahead and select a post slot route of some sort. Let's go with deep attack from gun spread. Notice what's beside it, a go route. Just like the short side zone beaters, like in quick slants we just talked about, they too need help from a route to get open. They need to distract a safety of some sort. Thankfully, this go post is all over the game. There are tons of plays that has this go post, and we want this on the short side of the field, just like those short side zone beaters. So let's go ahead and select that. Let's go up against a cover two. They tend to work better against cover two. They work a little bit better or work just okay against cover three and just okay against cover four. Technically, they work against all three, but we want something like this. Okay, so let's back out. Snap the ball. I'm seeing cover two zone. Well, at this point, I know I'm going to go to my post right. I'm just waiting for him to kind of get above those defenders, and we're going to throw it to him right there, and that wasn't even a really good throw, and we still made a good play out of it. We could do it again. Do something like this. Just very good defensive play. Just got a hand on it. Probably going to take this back to the house unless I can stop him. Let's try it one more time. If you need to, you can come over the middle of the field. Give you some extra space to work with. You can have a situation like this that works even better. If you need a better line of sight with that post right, you can come over here as long as you're not feeling a whole lot of pressure. But that's what we want to see right there. Against cover three, it can work. I can try to make this look decent. Let's go ahead and select it again. And let's go up against a basic cover three. At this point, we're just trying to give it above that center. Something like this. And that's it. You just got to wait till he makes his final cut and go to him. You've seen the slot post a million times in my Dynasty videos. That's usually the first thing a lot of people learn when attacking deep zone is that slot post. But let's talk about that backside post. The backside post, I think, is actually a little bit more fun to throw to. Let's go to Gun Ace Twins, and let's select Halfback Tight End Combo. Now, this backside post technically doesn't need any help from any route to get open. Let's go ahead and select that. Let's go up against a Cover 2, and this is kind of no different than the slot post. It could work against any of the coverages, but as soon as he kind of makes his cut, I can kind of hold down the button and you can make a good throw out of it. If you need to just lighten it up a little bit and get over somebody's head, you could do that as well. We could try that here. Something like that. And you can have a great play like this. Okay, but if it's cover three, cover four, you know, it tends to work a little bit better against cover two. That's just a good play by the defender. But I'm here to tell you the slot post and the backside post. How to get really good at those. That's just a terrible throw by the quarterback right there. But you get my point. Get very comfortable with these post routes against zone, especially against cover two, and really try to work on it against cover three as well. Once you get against quarters coverage, you may just want to throw down to somebody lower, like your short side zone beater. But either way, that's the other big concept you need to think about. The last one we want to talk about are your rollouts. You've seen me use rollouts before. This is cover two zone specific. Let's go ahead and select gun trips, and let's go with halfback shriek. This is a left hash play. For two reasons. One, our short side zone beater. We got a drag rat with a high read or uh, route above it. We know this guy can get open. But we also have this combo over here. We got a go route with a flag. It's kind of the opposite of that go post. We're going to roll out and go to this flag route specifically against cover two zone. Let's go ahead and select that. Let's go against cover two zone. We're going to go over to the left hash. And what are you going to do? I know we're doing pass skeleton. But what we're going to do here is just slowly roll out. I'm seeing cover two. I'm just going to throw it to this guy right there. 
The reason why he gets open is he needs help from that go route to get open. Notice what happens right here. As soon as I throw the ball, notice what this safety's doing. He is coming back slowly over to this guy. He cannot defend both at the same time. He's got to pick one. Just like in the short side zone beater, the corner always defends the high read. This safety always defends the middle guy. That's why he gets open. He can't get over there in time. Unless you're like an Ed Reed and he may be able to do it. So let's try that again. I'm not feeling a whole lot of heat. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to throw it. Not a very good throw. You may want to put a little English on it. You can see by my gamepad viewer, I may put a little something like this. That's what happens when you put too much English on it. That's why I normally recommend you don't really have to bother with that. We'll come over here. I'm just going to throw the ball pretty hard. That's what you want to see right there. Again, the reason why he got open is because that safety is going right there. Look, he even has his back turned to this guy right here. Just an easy open play right there. If you're not feeling a whole lot of pressure, boom, just go to that guy and pick up your yardage. Let's pick another concept that's pretty similar to that. Okay, let's go and pick another combo. Let's go to gun to back slot and let's select slot corner. So our slot flag route is the same or slot corner. It's the same route as what we just saw, but instead of having a go route, we got a post route going the other way. It's the same principle though. Let's select it, cover two, left hash. You always want that on the strong side of the field. On this case, it's the right side. We'll just roll out a little bit. We'll come over here. We'll do something like that. Big game. Okay. We could pick a right hash version. Let's go to like gun sprint. Corner strike. We got a, a corner route and we got a post route. Exact same thing we just saw before. The rats are a little bit different, but the concept is still the same. Let's go up against another cover two. Remember, this is cover two only. I'm just going to slowly roll out. I'm not feeling a whole lot of heat. And we'll just come over here, put a little English on it. And he just needs to make the catch. But the point is the same thing. Look here. What's that safety? Can he defend both? No, he can't. He's stuck. He's got to pick somebody. You got more field to work with over here. On top of that, he's the only defender you got to worry about. If you went to the post from this area, what's going to happen? These two safeties are going to knock that dude's head off. So it's just something to think about. So let's try it one more time and see if we can make this look good. We're just going to roll out a little bit over here. Come over here. And we're going to pick up a really good gain so those are the four main things i wanted to talk about we got the short side zone beater we got the center beater then we got a post route backside post we got slot post and then we got your rollout cover two zone beaters okay hopefully this made sense to you and actually before we go i want to show you one more we're gonna go you see me call it millions of times Deep cross-up, exact same thing. We got the scissors concept. This is a middle of the field because this is a bunch low. Let's go ahead and just do this. Cover two. Go to the middle of the field. I don't want to leave this out. We're going to roll out. Exact same thing. What's going to happen? Boom, he is wide open. Okay. So there it is. We, we talked about the four main things. Hopefully you got something out of this. I think I've covered, like, honestly, like 80% of how to attack zone coverages just off this little 20-minute video alone. In a future video, we're going to cover how to attack via play action, and that's going to be a whole lot of fun, and there's some unique ways to attack certain areas of the field against man and against zone. Should be a lot of fun. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.